Now, I'm going to tell you a story about a little girl named Ida. Ida and her flowers. Um, that makes 16. Excellent. And that was the last lesson for today. But wait, Carl, I still have to show you my flowers. to go to sleep, Sophie. Oh, and how are you doing, Tim? Oh no, what's happened to them? So, what were you teaching the girl today then? Oh, um, sums mostly, and spelling. Good, good. Those are important. And then I read her some of these fairy tales. Filling her head with useless poppycock, eh? Why? Well, Read them yourself sometime and find out. <laughs> Nothing but hogwash. Oh, my flowers! Look what's happened to them! Well, they're dead, aren't they? I mean, what did you expect? You know they all die sooner or later. Don't listen to him. They're not dead. They're just... Fading. Oh. Do you know why they're fading, Ida? The flowers were at a ball last night. No wonder they look so tired. But flowers can't dance. Of course they can. When it is night time and everyone's asleep, they come out and jump around. They have a ball almost every night. Really? Where do they do that? Do you know the castle outside the gates of the town? Where the king lives in summer? and where the beautiful garden is full of flowers. Of course I do. I was in the garden out there yesterday, but all the leaves were off the trees and there wasn't a single flower left. That's right. Where are they all? They're all in the castle. That's where they have their dances. As soon as the king and all his court are gone into the town for the winter, the flowers run out of the garden into the castle. And how happy they were. What a lovely tune. Delightful. If a bit sedate and slow. Oh, be quiet, will you? We're trying to enjoy this. Oh, no, we don't. Got that? <laughs> there, that's better. Much. Dance like that all night long? That's right. But they have to watch out, of course, for the old steward making his rounds. My back, my bones, my creaking joints, my bones, my back, my aching knee. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> and curious. Filling the girl's head with silly notions. Flowers dancing. Ha! Notions they may be, but who's to say they're silly? It's plain as day, isn't it? Anyone with a bit of sense can see that. 
Sure. I'm going for a walk. Well, Ida, I have to get going myself. Don't forget about your homework. I'll see you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow, Carl. Oh. I'm so sorry, Sophie. But tonight you'll have to sleep somewhere else. The flowers need a comfortable place to rest. There. There you go now. Is that better? I got you some tea so you can get well. Good night now. And if you're going to the dance tonight, don't tie yourselves out like last time, OK? That night, little Ida couldn't get to sleep for a long time. She kept thinking about the things the tutor had told her, about the dancing flowers. At last, sleep came. Huh? What's that? Especially you. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely as ever. What's going on? A dance? Why didn't anybody invite me? I'll gladly invite you, madam. May I have this dance? No, you may not. Me, me, me. Ow. Oh. 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 Get away from me, all of you. I was hoping a gentleman would come to my aid. <gasps> I'm sorry, are we not good enough? No, oh, why are you all fussing over me? You gave us your bed and that was so very kind of you. We are grateful, but you must know we won't live much longer. Tomorrow we will be no more. I didn't know. That's so sad. But tomorrow do tell little Ida that she is to bury us out in the garden. Then we will wake up again in summer and be far more beautiful. Oh. Of course I'll tell her. Now, let's dance! Yes! <laughs> Gosh, the, the music is very lively here, isn't it? Isn't it terrible? Isn't it wonderful? Hey, ladies! <laughs> Time to dance! <laughs> Get off me, you fool! You can dance! You know you can! <laughs> Next! Everybody dance! to tell me something? Little Ida started to wonder. Had it all just been a dream? <gasps> but then she realised that it wasn't. Not at all. Today, I'll bury you in the garden 
And then you'll grow again in the summer and become more beautiful than ever. What are you two doing? We're burying the flowers so they'll come back to life later. Burying the flowers so they'll come back to life? <laughs> Bury them all you want, but they'll never come back to life. What a silly girl. Don't listen to him. In time, you'll find out he's very, very wrong. It turned out the councillor was wrong. Ida saw the flowers returning year after year and more beautiful each time too.